Hey everybody, DSR here with a quick video to show off uh, the new Fall of Cybertron line Optimus Prime figure. Uh, he's a deluxe class, kind of. Uh, <laughs> he's quite small compared to a lot of them. And uh, I found him on a Target run last Saturday over the weekend. Um, and he wasn't on any pegs, and I checked with uh, the employees there and the there were none in the back, there were none else on the shelves. He was by himself under a pile of Transformers Prime bumblebees. So, uh, let's see, let's move him out of the way real quick so I can show you the packaging. Uh, I already have removed him, obviously. And uh, here's the back. I can't really, I'm recording this on my phone, so I can't really move it. But, um, yeah. Here's the uh, what they're doing now for uh, the st stats and everything for each figure, kind of like they used to do on the grid instead of having just the numbers. So it's kind of a pain to look at it and say, oh, okay, his skill is uh, three down, okay, that's an eight, especially if it's way over on like the strength side on the other side. But um, anyway, no, I, I wish I could show you more, but uh, it's very nice artwork on here. Um, let's see, <laughs> since this is already bent to crap, uh, you can see, uh, it does say Generations, and he's got some, some cool artwork on here, uh, and it's for the Fall of Cybertron line for the game, and it claims to be Generations, I guess that's what they're doing now for it, uh, they're still continuing the Generations line, and having the Fall of Cybertron line uh, piggyback off of it, I guess, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know the logistics of that totally, but this is the figure, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the packaging, which, if you can see, it was totally destroyed, and that's why I was looking for another one, because so I've been keeping the card backings and everything, the packaging for the last couple I've bought in the stores for, like, the Prime guys, but, uh, <laughs> you know, this, even if I had picked it up, I couldn't have sold it online or anything, even though I wanted to, because no one would probably buy it in that condition. It's just ridiculously destroyed. I don't know how they could put that on the shelves, but, uh, anyway, I saw him and snagged him. He was $15 at Target. Uh, Target has raised their prices, at least, uh, where I live in California. Uh, a lot of the places around here have already raised prices, so, uh, they use, they're coming up from, like, twelve ninety five to, like, fourteen ninety five. so it's a two dollar jump, but it kind of sucks when the figures are getting smaller, like they have been. Um, before I go ahead and compare them to any other figures, I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this. He has a really nice head sculpt. The, the grays are really dark on it, so you can barely see his face mask. It's Kind of the lighting, kind of just the coloring. You can see it better there. But, uh, it's kind of a really dark gray on a really navyish blue. Um, and his eyes you can see, but, uh, they don't really pop out at you. Um, I saw a review that someone had painted him up, uh, and given him a silver backing to his eyes, and it made it look a lot better. Uh,. I also saw a review that called him kind of a pocket Optimus Prime, and I would definitely agree with that. Uh, he is sm small enough literally to throw in your pocket, I've done that, <laughs> and brought him to work uh, the last couple of days mess messing with him, or today, I guess today's Monday. Anyway, uh, <laughs> now this is his gun, which I really like, uh, his ion blaster, and it's kind of a, whoa, got a little autofocus or something going on there. Um, it's kind of cool, it's, oh come on camera, focus, but it, as you can see it's kind of got the triangular shape here in the back, uh, like the classic uh, Optimus Prime ion cannon, it's really sunk in there, so uh, it's just one flat piece inside, and it's not too thick, but it's really nice, and it's, I like the, uh, the kind of circular area down here. Um, it's really cool. I really like this weapon, actually. And uh, a lot of the pre-production pictures have him holding it with this peg, which looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. I guess maybe they assumed that this peg, since it 
plugs in in vehicle mode there at that angle that that would make sense to use it for but then it looks like a stupidly tall pistol or something rather than like this cool badass ion cannon that almost covers up his hand but uh i really do like the sculpt on on this weapon and i'll show it off on my war for cybertron optimus prime here in a minute when i compare them but uh actually you know what? i'll do that now before i transform him and this is my war for cybertron optimus prime i've got him kind of decked out with uh, a couple different weapons i've got his regular uh machine gun or whatever it is that they decided to give him uh, back here folded up so you can flip it out and put it in his hand or whatever and this uh, was from the Energon series I think uh, I don't remember what transformer it was actually from but I've kind of got it like a shoulder cannon and then this piece back here splits open and it's an axe and then I gave him the uh, uh, Robots in Disguise Prime sword uh, I really like the way the sword looks on him and I haven't tried it with Fall of Cybertron Prime yet. I'm going to try that in a second on camera here. But I uh, just want to show you what the Fall of Cybertron weapon looks like on War for Cybertron Prime. And I really like it. It's cool. It's kind of a different, it's definitely a different look than uh, his original weapon. Let me move my speaker here so you can kind of see it better. I like it. I like it on him. Let me pop these off so you can kind of get a better idea. I really like this weapon on him, actually. You know, it just looks really cool on him. Uh, in comparison to his little machine gun here, which is long. Well, it's not much longer, but you know, uh, stick right in there. You can even stick it in his forearm and have him dual wield these or something. But uh, just stick him next to the fall of Cybertron Optimus, and you can already tell. Even though you know, I, I kind of have him in a biased stance here, where he's a little bit shorter, but uh, he is about a head and a half shorter, even just standing straight um, with his feet and everything. He's kind of dinky compared to the generations Optimus Prime, and I think you know this is a deluxe class as well as oh come on camera, don't be focusing like that. Come on. Like I said, I, I'm recording this on my on my phone, so uh, it's a little wonky right now. I don't know why it's doing this, but uh, hopefully it comes out okay. Uh, the Fallen Cybertron Prime is also a deluxe class, so uh, I'm sure when when this released, I had to get him online. I paid like 15 bucks for him or 20, I think. I don't remember. I think it was 15, but uh, you know the the generations used to go for like 12.99 in the stores, and these are. This is more expensive retail than he was, and uh, look at what you're paying for, kind of. <laughs> I, I definitely love the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. He's like one of my favorite molds of a Transformer that I've ever owned. I'll get the focus is back. Um, I've done a little bit of panel lining and stuff on him, but I absolutely love him. And I was hoping that uh, Fallen Cybertron Prime would be uh, just as good when I first saw the production pictures of him. But, uh, obviously he is a heck of a lot smaller, and a totally different aesthetic, even though it tries to follow the, uh, Cybertronian form kind of thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and transform him into vehicle mode real quick, and as you can see, it's just, his arms spin around. It's a really, really super basic transformation. There's these flip around, and then the hole that's on this forearm right here, the bumper pegs into... On this, and these are on a ball joint, which is cool, but at the same time almost useless, because, uh, I mean, you can have them posed, but, you know, why bother, almost, where you're trying to get rid of it, you're trying to tuck it away, uh, when it's in, when he's in robot mode, but, uh, you know, the, there is a ball joint there, and then, uh, his shoulders are on ball joints as well, and then a swivel for, uh, the forearm. Or the shoulder, wherever the shoulder is, and then the forearm actually is just on a, another swivel down. But that locks these into place, and then for the head, he's kind of all on one, where you can see the gray. It's all a universal joint where it, you push down on the arms, and it tucks the head away inside the cavity. Here, and then this red panel that's on his back folds up. 
and then you just fold these around and these tabs stick into the side of his cab just like that like that and then his bumper just tabs like that and then you flip back up the exhaust back here and you're supposed to have them down for for uh, robot mode but I, I there's supposed to be a redeco of him coming out that's going to be um uh, shoot, blue and white. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm tired and it's late at night, so names are escaping me right now. Uh, <laughs> geez, I feel stupid. I I know the name of them, but uh, anyway, there's supposed to be uh, a redeco of him in blue and uh, with a sword, a sword adaption of his gun, where I think it's got another peg down here or something. And then this whole gun is kind of a sword instead. Uh, and I think you might leave these up for him because of the shoulder pylons that he normally has. Oh god, why can't I remember his name? Oh, anyway, I'm going to feel stupid in the morning when I watch this and upload it. But uh, his legs, really, really, really simple. Uh, you know, as you can see, just fold, they fold up, they tab in, and his feet pop up here, the ball joints slip back on another joint in here, and then all you, it's kind of a pain to get these to tab though, it doesn't like to tab in all the way and stay, as you can see it's kind of giving me a little resistance there, and it just ta uh, tucks in like so, and let's see, there it goes, the back's kind of a pain in the butt, and I'm sure you could probably shave it down a little bit and make it better, but uh, there he is in, in vehicle mode. Now the gun, like I said before, just like that. So, uh, that's him in vehicle mode, and uh, he's still really tiny. I'm not going to bother trying to transform uh, Prime here into vehicle mode, because that'll take 10 minutes alone on camera. But, uh, so he's definitely a lot smaller, and then just as a comparison real quick, let me put him back into robot mode. I should have and the comparisons beforehand, like I was planning on doing it, but I'm stupid, so that's okay. We're all allowed to make mistakes, right? <laughs> but uh, I have right next to me, oh Jesus, I have next to me uh, a couple generations guys, and um, Prime RC, just to show off, oh, that's the wrong way, uh, you know, the size comparison, kind of, and what you're looking at getting with this guy, and who you're going to be posing him with, uh, I'm sure he'll fit in perfectly fine with the rest of the guys from the Fall of Cybertron line, um, and maybe they'll do a, a Voyager class for Prime, which would be cool, because this is like a really super basic design, and I kind of like the design. But at the same time, he's just really, really chubby, um, which I don't know if I covered, but, uh, I'll, actually, I'll do that right now. This is going to be a long video. Uh, you know, with War for Cybertron Optimus, uh, you can see he's, he's got a lot of back kibble, and his the front of his chest is real big, but when you look at him, it kind of looks like he's got biceps. Sort of like he's got a big, bulky front chest where, you know, don't mess with him, and he's also got the back able to, to um, even it out a little bit, and I have this all tucked in back here, but um, with Fall of Cybertron Prime, he just kind of got this pot belly sort of thing on his cab going on, which I guess, you know, that's like a lot of versions of Prime, where it's just straight up a truck cab on the front, but you know, for this kind of thing, I thought they would have done a little something different, and the weirdest part is that, whoopsie, <laughs> His shoulders are pushed back. His head's pushed back. His head is barely above his waist. And then he's got this huge belly coming out. Where, uh, you know, it just looks like... It, it, the, the design might have looked a lot better if the head had been more forward and the shoulders had been more forward. And it wasn't so swept back. Like, I'm not even doing a pose and it almost looks like he's kind of in a... In a... You know, crotch pushed out pose. 
uh, even though he's not, I and mean, he's standing almost perfectly straight up, but it, he just looks like he's got this kind of back, back swept look, uh, which I'm not a big fan of to have it naturally like that. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, the pelvic thrust pose is cool and all, but not to permanently have on a figure. And, uh, so here he is with Generation Scourge. Uh, and you can see Scourge is a little bit taller, just barely, but you can see that he's a lot bigger. Not taller, but bigger. You know, even with the head sculpt, his head is enormous compared to Optimus's. Which, uh, I mean, even on the War for Cybertron Prime, he's got kind of a, kind of a tiny head going on there, but not nearly as bad as him. He just looks like he, his head hasn't grown onto his body yet. Which, like I said, I mean, for a, a Voyager, that would be cool because he would look like he's bulked up. Like he's really buff, like a super mode kind of Optimus, rather than a uh, tiny Optimus. <laughs> um... And then here he is next to uh, Prime RC, where she's just barely shorter than him, but like I said too, she's a little bit bigger, you know, bulk-wise, um, especially with her legs here. And considering that Optimus is usually a lot bigger than RC, and RC is really supposed to be small, uh, that's a little weird. And then just one random one, uh, Cyclonus. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Cyclonus is taller than War for Cybertron Prime, but Cyclonus is just a little tall anyway, but like I said, he, he dwarfs <laughs> uh, all Cybertron guy here. And one, okay, one last one, I promise. Megatron. War for Cybertron, Megatron. And uh, at first I was like, oh, this is kind of an okay scaling. But then with the heads, you can just see the difference of the head sculpts, uh, size-wise, how much smaller Optimus is compared to Megatron. But, uh, yeah, so that's just a, uh, a really freaking long look now, <laughs> uh, now that this video is over, uh, almost 18 minutes. I don't even know if YouTube will let me upload that. <laughs> If not, I guess I'm reshooting it. Uh, anyway, that's Fall of Cybertron Prime.